Well, here it is. This is the Rostock Max 3D printer. And I just finished uh, construction and wiring today. And uh, hopefully tomorrow I will get the hot end mounted and uh, get the alignment procedure done and start doing some test prints. I just wanted to show you really quick what it looked like in motion. Uh, we're going to do a G28, which is home to the uh, end stop switches right there. Each axis has one. And let's give it a shot. So we type G28. We're using a piece of software called Repetier Host. And then we do that. Each axis will go up until it hits an end stop. And after the first one hits, which is going to be this one, the other ones will true up to match it. And there it is. That's in its home position. Uh, the very interesting thing about this machine is that it's a delta design, as you can see. It uses three arms as opposed to the Cartesian machines, like MakerBot and RepRap and those. Um, and this also has an exceptionally large build volume. Uh, it's about, I don't know, 11 and a half, it's somewhere between 11 and a half and 13 inches depending. And uh, the build volume diameter is 10 inches. Uh, this is the default plate that comes with the machine. There's a new heated bed uh, called the uh, Onyx, I believe that is large enough to the point where it uses these holes here for mounting all the way around. Uh, it's a pretty good sized bed. It comes up to operating temperature in about two minutes. Uh, the smaller bed here of course is a lot faster. Uh, and uh, That's about all there is to it. Each little stepper motor down here at the bottom. It's belt drive, very smooth, extremely accurate. A friend of mine has one of these machines, the second prototype they built actually, and he's getting 90 micron print layers out of his without really trying. Uh, this uses ABS plastic as the print media. It will also use PLA. Uh, at some point I'll probably get around to testing with that. And that's all there is to it. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video.